there have been many people out there that have really tried to uh, wedge, uh, try to create a distinction between things like faith, theism, and science. You've kind of introduced the idea that perhaps this gap isn't as big as some people might think, and perhaps there might not even be one there in any case. So I wonder if you could perhaps elaborate on that. Well, certainly. I think, first of all, we'd need to clarify what you mean by faith. I take it you mean objective sense, religion, Christianity, and so on. And for most of my life, really, I, I've never seen a real difficulty here because very early on, uh, when I was a boy, I learned that the major pioneers of modern science, you can start with Galileo, then Kepler, Newton, and so on, were all believers in God. And I learned, I think from Lewis, that C.S. Lewis, that that was no accident. And uh, he was summing up a very famous philosopher, Alfred North Whitehead, when he said this, this is Lewis, he said, men became scientific because they expected law in nature, and they expected law in nature because they believed in a lawgiver. In other words, the pioneering time of modern science, 16th, 17th centuries, faith in God actually drove the scientific impulse. It was the motor that was behind it. And these people saw absolutely no contradiction between their faith in God and their faith in science. And I'm expressing that deliberately because I think there's a huge confusion in the culture today as to what faith means because Richard Dawkins and co. have spread abroad the idea and it's taken root that faith is a religious term and it means believing where there's no evidence. And in fact, it's an ordinary term that means believing where there is evidence. Faith, believing where there's no evidence, is blind faith and is not worth thinking about. And therefore, I see the world in both senses, that I have faith in, the, in science and I have faith in the human mind to do science because I believe in a creator that created it. And I see no conflict there. Now, I can develop that <laughs> more closely because I think, well, let me give you two quotations which have meant quite a bit to me. The Nobel Prize winner, Lawrence Bragg, said, faith and science are opposed just as the thumb and the fingers are opposed so that between them we can grasp everything. And the late Lord Sachs, the chief rabbi in the UK, said, well, science uh, tells us how to understand how things work, and religion tells us what they mean. And I think that's a pretty useful, it's not completely accurate, but a pretty useful way of approaching these things. And uh, we need both of those dimensions, uh, how things work and what they mean, and uh, there's usually no conflict between the how questions and the why questions, unless you, for some arbitrary reason, like Dawkins and co, ban the why questions and say they're meaningless, when in fact they're the most important questions human beings can ask. That, that's a short version. I mean, here I'm sitting in Oxford or near Oxford, and the motto of the university still is Dominus Illuminatio Mea, the Lord is my light or my illumination. And uh, the people that founded Oxford saw no conflict in studying everything. This is God's world and therefore worth studying. So I find that, well, I understand uh, atheism because I've spent a lot of my life engaging with it. But as a scientist, I'm not remotely uh, embarrassed uh, to say I'm both a Christian and uh, have a lot of time for science. I'm passionate about it. Uh, 